The Moken are indigenous people living on the coast and islands in southern Thailand. This nomadic lifestyle has earned them the name Sea Gypsies. In Thai, they are called Chao Lei, or people of the sea. They traditionally live on small boats and move from place to place. When the monsoon rains make the seas rough, they set up temporary huts on islands, such as this Pra Tong Island, an hour's boat ride from the mainland city of Phuket. The Asian tsunami of December 2004 devastated the Mokan way of life. Their temporary huts were destroyed and many families lost loved ones. The losses would have been greater if not for the mangrove forest close to the Mokan village. After the tsunami, some Mokan felt that they could not return to their nomadic lives. They have chosen to live on the mainland where they feel safe from the waves. Others who remained on their island had new permanent houses built for them, but the Mokan are quick to abandon these whenever they hear rumours of more tsunamis. The mangrove replanting work here is led by two women, Kiab and June. June has been a volunteer with conservation organizations. She learned about ecosystems and how to protect mangroves and endangered species like sea turtles. She can see many changes in her environment after the tsunami. The tsunami's impact is not the only factor affecting the mangroves here. Dynamite fishing, oil from boats, foam from fish and oyster nets are all damaging this life-saving green belt. Some people also cut down mangrove trees. But Kiab and Dune are determined to rally everyone around to replant and regenerate their mangroves. Replanted mangroves will ensure not only protection from the waves, but also a continued supply of shellfish and crabs, the main source of income and food for the Mokan. The Mokan have traditionally managed the mangroves sustainably. They fish in different areas of the forest during the year, giving time for fish stocks to regenerate. Logging for firewood is done only in moderation in designated areas. But these mangroves are now under threat from outsiders, who see it as a source of firewood and shellfish. Only a few Mokan are left in the village to protect the forest from these intrusions. Kiab and Dune have much work to do.